Okay, so I'm going to start by going to SourceForge. We're going to get this uh, zip file here. It will download. So we'll get this downloaded here. One second, or 30 seconds. Alright, so it looks like this downloaded, so I'm just going to take this right here and let's see if we can extract this and we'll throw it over here in this location. So I'll just do like this. We'll extract it over here, should show up. There we go. Okay, so that should be about finished. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close this window, go ahead and close this, and we have this in this folder now, so we'll come back to it in just a second. Now I want to get to Options, so I'm going to go to Tools, Options, and go to Hash, and I want to import a new hash set. Alright, the path to that is, let's see here. Uh, I'm guessing it's this one. I may guess wrong. Let's see. And I think it's in here. And here. And here we are. Alright, so we have an IDX file. I believe that's correct. And it recognizes what it's called. Right, and we'll go ahead and let's see. Alright, and so we'll go ahead and hit OK. Should be pretty quick. And then we'll go OK. Now, later on, when we go to run ingest on these, uh, let's see, run ingest models, modules. See if I can get to the configuration of the modules or if it's just going to run. Okay, so I'm going to deselect these all, but let's just go to the hash. And now you'll see I have this option in here. So when you get ready to go do. Uh, uh, the, the hands-on project using autopsy for Windows for exercise 9 you'll have something very similar to this uh, you're going to use a different uh, this is essentially like a KFF it's a known file filter that helps us find matches based on hash values uh, but it'll essentially walk you through and you'll have a another file in here but the process will be just the same as, as what I just went through so go ahead and run this and then it's going to just do just that um, that one ingest module. So it's really only it's not doing all those things that were unchecked. It's only doing the hash verification or the hash lookups. So that's how to get started with some of the uh, uh, validation in module nine. Thanks.